All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth in sincerity, Bahashim, Rokak, Kodash. This lesson is going to be on how the Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, you know, holds us up, you know, when we stumble. You know, the Lord guides our path. You know, he, he guides our steps. And, you know, most of all, the Lord is with us, man. You know, certain scenarios um, play out here on the earth, okay, in your walk, in your personal walk. And, and you see how the Lord protects you, you know. And, and, and you have to believe that the Lord is with you in those scenarios because the Lord will manifest it to where, you, you know, you, you'll, you'll stand, you know, and even if you stumble, because you, you, that's the thing that, that, that's the, that, that's what, um, that's, what's mysterious about being in this truth that, you know, sometimes you do mess up, you know, sometimes you do, you do stumble, you know, but the Lord always lifts you up. So you don't completely fall. All right. Um, Lord willing, this is edifying. I got a couple of scriptures that I put together. I'm going to start the book of Proverbs. It's Proverbs 4 and 10 here. Oh, my son and receive my sayings. And the years of thy life shall be many, right? So, you know, you being a son of the heavenly father, Yasharala, okay, a, a hopeful elect, a man of the Lord, you know, you have to hear these sayings, man, these wise sayings, you know, that come out of these scriptures that you shall be prosperous, man, you know, in this truth. And you have many years in the truth. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. The Lord teaches us wisdom when we read this book and we have to apply that wisdom and the Lord is leading our paths, man. The Lord, you know, is guiding us to make right decisions. And whenever we go and whatever we do, and you have to believe that, you know, because if you're living a righteous life, it'll manifest itself by, you know, the, the, the outcome of your doings, you know, it says, when thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shall not stumble. So, when thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. Let's get a couple words. It's straightened. Strong's age thirty three thirty four. Yatsaya. Yatsaya. It says to bind, be distressed, be in distress, be cramped, be narrow, be scant, be in straits, make narrow, cause stress, be siege, to suffer distress. Down here it says vexed, man. You see, vexed. I have, it says, so, you know, wherever you go, man, the Lord's going to make sure that you're not completely vexed, man. I mean, we do get vexed, but not completely. We're not spiritless. When thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Strong's H, 3782. Kashel. Kashel. To cause to stumble, bring injury, ruin to, or ruin to, bring injury or ruin to overthrow, to make feeble, make weak, to be made to stumble. Right. The Lord will make sure that we're not totally vexed and that we're not overthrown, man, in this truth. All right. That's why we have to apply this knowledge and this wisdom. And the Lord will be with us, man. The Lord is with us, you know. And you really have to believe that <clears throat> because the Lord saves you at a lot of different things, man. You know, whether it be persecution, the Lord will make it to where the wicked come in your stead. You know, you, you know, it seemed like you about to fall, but really, you know, it'll be the, it'll be, it'll be the wicked that'll fall and not you. The Lord will uphold you, you know, that you go somewhere, the Lord will lead you to the right place. You know, the Lord, the Lord helps you in, in, in many different things, man. If it's, it's home, it's your vehicle, your family, whatever the case may be, the Lord will direct your paths, man. This is Psalms. One nineteen and one thirty three. <sighs> Order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Right. 
So you have to always pray that the Lord guides your way in truth. It tells you that in the Apocrypha. So order my steps in thy word, okay? Because your your the things you do, your decisions, the paths you take, you know, they have to be according to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And la, and let not any iniquity have dom, dominion over me. And then there's the things you pray for, for the Lord to guide you, guide your steps, okay, that they be righteous, you know? And and that 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 none no sin, you know, you not be weighed down in your sins. And they don't have dominion over you. Let's get that word dominion. Strong's age seventy nine eighty, Shalat, Shalat. To domineer, exercise power over, dominate. Right, you pray that the Lord, you know, don't let your sins dominate you, man. You know, don't let the weaknesses of your of your flesh, you know, rule over you, have power over you. These are the things you pray for, man. But the Lord orders your steps, man. You know? It's that word order. Strong's H3559. Kun. Kun. To be firm, be stable, be established. To be directed aright. You know? You pray that the Lord directs your steps aright. And if you if you and elect, the Lord's gonna direct you. You're not gonna fall, man. The Lord's gonna uphold you, you know, that you don't stumble. You always have to have the Lord on your mind, no matter what you do, no matter, you know, pray to the Heavenly Father. This is Proverbs 3 and 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Right. In all your ways, you know, pray to the Heavenly Father. Acknowledge that, you know, he is the one that is in control, you know. Be humble, be meek, you know. Let the Lord deal. And everything you do, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path, the way to go. You know? Recognize and, and acknowledge it. It's because of Yahabashim Yashai, you are alive. You have this truth, okay? You're 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 a, a servant of the Lord that He set you up, and we believe that. That He set us up, gave gave us of His Spirit to teach and to gather the flock through Him and His name and His word. You know, acknowledge what he does for you, man. Acknowledge that you're in this truth through the grace of the Lord. It's not of us. You know, acknowledge that you have life every day and that you are not consumed because of him. And he shall direct your path, all right, so that you don't fall. This is uh, Psalms 32 and um, 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. And that's what the Lord does. All right. The Lord instructs us, man, when we pray. The Lord, he, he, he reveals it to us when we ask for things. All right. We acknowledge the Heavenly Father and what we do. And he teaches us, you know, through other brothers, through videos. Okay. And the Lord, he'll just, you know, he'll tell you what video to do, what to speak on to the spirit. It'll just, you know, the Lord has to speak to you, man. It's, it's spiritual. The Lord instructs. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. And you'll know which way to go, man. Because you're supposed to be heeding to the spirit, the word, the you know, the guidelines of what the scriptures say. And it's all spiritual. You have to know. Anything is as of, you know, should I buy a vehicle? You pray to the Heavenly Father. And the Lord, you know, he'll He'll make it to where, you know, you go and you'll ask a, around a couple of places. And you'll find the right spot. And you'll find a spot that you really be digging. A car that you really be digging. You'll be like, you know, I found a couple cars, a couple places. But this right here, man, this place, this car, hey, this is the best deal for me. The Lord does that, man. Those are real blessings, man. The Lord instructs us, teaches us in the way which that we shall go. I will guide thee with mine eye. So the Lord's watching us, man. He's guiding us with his, with his own eyes, man. The Lord sees what we do, man. All right. The Lord makes sure that, 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 that his men are taken care of. In every scenario, I just use the car as an, as an example, but it'd be like that with, with, with uh, uh, the workplace. It'll be like that at the home. It'll be like that in the truth amongst Akim. It'll be out there in the highways and hedges, man. The Lord's watching us, man. He, his eyes are on us. The angels are uh, camped around those who fear him, man. Okay? So it, it's spiritual, man. The Lord, the Lord makes sure that we don't stumble, man. You know? This is uh, Psalms 37 and 24. It says, Though he fall, he shall not 
be utterly cast down. Right. Because, you know, you no, know, just to keep it real, you know, we speak the truth, man. You're going to fall sometimes, man. OK, but you're not going to be totally overthrown. Let's look at that word fall. Strong's age, 5307. Not foul. Not foul. It says to fall. Okay. You're going to fall, man. You're not always going to be in your two, your, your, you know, on, on toes. You know, as they say in the world, you're not always going to be on toes, man. You, you might fall, you know, even though you're doing the right thing. All right. Everything's a test at times. But the Lord, he'll see you through it, man. You know, if you're part of that elect, man. You know, if you are one of his chosen to, to, to make it to make it through, though he fall, he should not be utterly cast down for Yahweh by Shem Yahushai upholdeth him with his hand. OK, the Lord is upholding us with his hand, man. All right. That's basically saying the Lord, the Lord will sustain us, man, to make sure that we don't fall. You know, if the Lord's holding you with his hand, so to speak, man, you ain't going to fall, man. You know, you might go through some things. You might be vexed. You might uh, make some mistakes. You know, you might speak wrong, you know, you might do a, a plethora of things, man, but you're not going to utterly be cast down. And that's the beauty and the spirituality of being part of the elect, man. You know, Lord willing, you know, I myself am a part of, uh, of that number. All right. But, you know, you're going to fall, but you're not going to be utterly cast down, you know, and, and I, I'm coming to see that, man, that the Lord, you know, he's of tender mercies and save it in time of trouble, as it says in Sirach, the second chapter, I believe. All right. Let me get this. This is Psalms 145 and 14. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. Right. The Lord upholdeth all that fall. Okay. Let's look up that word upholdeth. Right. There you go. Same word. Strong's age, 5307. Not foul. Not foul. Right. The Lord upholdeth all those that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. To raise up. Strong's age 2210. Zakath. Zakath. Basically, the Lord will raise you up. He'll pick you up, man. Okay. The scriptures tell you a righteous man falleth down seven times. Okay, so you're going to fall, man. But ultimately, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, will make it to where you're not completely cast down, man. And that's the point of this lesson. It was just something I was meditating on, man. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to say, Brak the Yahweh, 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 Shalom.